Hi guys, Derek here with the Closet Doctor 3.0 update. This is our new shop, just an update on what we've got going on this week. Uh, here's a little thing. If you're negotiating a lease on a building to put a shop into or something like that, go out and take a look at the meter outside and make sure you've got enough power. I assumed a big building like this would have 400 amps running into it and is, all it had was a single meter on it that was a 200 amp panel. As you can see here over the years, there's been additions and subtractions and we're doing a little bit of work here. Not all of this is there, but this panel was what technical term would be, it was a mess. And we needed more than 200 amps of power. So we had to go out and get a permit. The whole pg e process has been, uh, hasn't been too tough, but it's trying to figure out what you need to do is kind of a pain. Let me show you our new panel that we've added. This is our new 200 amp panel that we have run. We pulled power through uh, through the building over to the meter on the exterior and started so, this with pg &E. They are gonna add a second meter to our building. So we're gonna have two panels, 200 amps. That way we'll have enough power to run all of our equipment, our CNC and dust collector and everything. Uh, my friend Bud Carroll at Carroll Electric put this in, did a great job. It's a nice, clean installation, uh, made sure everything dotted his I's and crossed his T's and all of that stuff. The inspector came out and approved this, which will allow pg &E now to put a meter on it so that we can get rolling with that. So happy to have that moving along. This is one of the things that we've been waiting on for a while. And now we have that. The other thing that we've been working on is airlines. Let me show you those. These are our airlines that we're putting up. This is a blue aluminum pipe. And I'm actually gonna put in the description uh, a lot of good information on Airlines, if you've got a shop, you're gonna be doing something in a shop and you need airlines that I'll share with you. It's a much longer video that's not suitable for an update, but has a lot of details on this. So we're using this blue aluminum air pipe. They go together with a, like a twist lock fitting and we've set that up throughout the shop. Most of this has come from our previous shop. We still have uh, a bunch of blue airlines in our temporary facility, but we've got about 80% of our airlines done got them mounted to the wall and hung from the ceiling. When we close out the other shop and move over to this location, we'll pull that airline out and complete this. We probably have about a half a day of work on the airlines. One other thing that we're gonna be doing is right over here about where this ladder is sitting, we have a CNC machine that's gonna be going there. That has two large vacuum pumps that run on it. Uh, they make a lot of noise and they make a lot of heat. And so is what we've done in the past is we've put those somewhere else. And in this setup, so we've mounted, this is what we've also done this week. You see this black sewer pipe, it goes up to the ceiling, runs across the ceiling, and then comes down. We're taking both our vacuum pumps and our compressor, things that make a lot of noise. One out of shop that's where we're working in here, we don't have a lot of uh, noise pollution. We cord drilled through the building, and we've run our sewer pipe and our, and our control lines for our vacuum pumps uh, outside. We're gonna have an enclosure outside that we'll have that in. We're working on our airlines. Uh, hit rebar a couple of times there and said to start over, but we're gonna have our airlines, we'll penetrate the wall there as well. So our noise making equipment will be outside, making it a better place for our employees to work. And it'll go really well. So that's our weekly update. The good news is next week, uh, we have our new edge bander is scheduled to be delivered sometime next week. I think we're looking at Wednesday and our CNC machine, our new CNC machine that we'll be putting in here is also, uh, my understanding is that it's at the port now and will be loaded this week. So we'll probably see that end of this next week or the following week. And so the next update will be a really exciting. If you like the stuff that we're doing here and you, you wanna get notifications on it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and every new video that pops up, you'll get a notification on. Thanks, have a good weekend.